Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us try to find the equation of a plane passing through passing through these three points. And the three points are as follows. 1, negative 2, 1. That's the first point. Second point is negative 1, negative 1, 7. And then the third point is 2, negative 1, 3. We want to find find the equation uh, of the plane passing through these points. Equation of the plane. We want to find the equation of the plane that is passing through these three points. According to what we know, according to, we'll write that as step number one, according to the procedure, the procedure is telling us that if we were to find the determinant of x, y, z, 1, then x1, y1, z1, 1, x2, y2, z2, 1, and x3, y3, z3, and 1, and then equate this to 0, that should be able to give us the equation of the plane. Since we know the points, we will substitute them, them into this equation and then see what we can get. So the determinant of um, x, y, z, 1, x1, y1, z1 are 1, negative 2, 1 for us. x2, y2, z2 are negative 1, negative 1, 7 for us. And then x3, y3, z3 is the point which is 2, negative 1, 3, 1. And then if we were to find the determinant and then equate this to zero, that should be able to give us the equation of the plane. So let's get started in, on this. So this is what we have. And then um, if we were to expand this along, let's do this. We're going to expand this along the first row. And as we know, according to the sign convention, first row, first column, that sign would be positive. Then next would be negative positive and negative like that and therefore when we follow that we're going to write this one as x the minor of that is going to be negative 2 negative 2 negative 2 1 1 negative 1 7 1 and then negative 1 3 1 and then minus y the minor of that is going to be the minor of that is going to be 1 1 1 negative 1, 7, 1, and then 2, 3, 1, right? And then plus z, the minor of that, which is going to be 1, negative 2, 1, negative 1, negative 1, 7, and then 2, negative 1, 3, like that. And then minus 1 times the determinant of the minor of that which is going to be 1 negative 2 1 and then negative 1 negative 1 7 and then 2 negative 1 3 and then if we were to equate that to 0 that should be that should be able to give us the value of uh, the equation of the plane for simplicity's sake I'm going to use another method this time and if I were to call the determinant of this as A, the determinant of this as B, the determinant of this as C, and the determinant of this as D, just for convenience. This is not the formula or anything of that, that nature. I'm going to then say, solving A, it would be, I'm going to use the, the diagonal product method to do this, and the way to, to write it out is as follows. We're going to write the given, uh, a, a, a given uh, elements of the determinant as is negative 2 1 1 negative 1 7 1 and then negative 1 3 1 and then we're going to we're going to add we're going to add the first column and second column uh, uh, as fourth and fifth columns in here negative 2 1 negative 1 7 and then negative 1 3 and then the way this procedure works is as follows, isn't it? So if we were to come in here and then say we want to connect 
these diagonals, connect these diagonals, and connect these diagonals. And then when we are facing down, this is going to be positive, positive, positive. And then when we are connecting these diagonals, connecting these diagonals, and here, these are going to be subtracted. The products are going to be subtracted. And when we expand this, this is what we're going to get. This is going to be equal to, this is going to be equal to negative 2 times 7 times 1. Negative 2 times 7 times 1. Let's, let's skip one step in here and then write it out as follows. Okay, since we know our multiplication multiplication table, negative 2 times 7 is negative 14, negative 14 times 1 is negative 14, then uh, plus 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, so negative 1, and then plus 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, so it's that easy. There's nothing to worry about it at all. Now we're going to find the product along the um, pro product, um, the next products, that is going to be negative. Negative 1 times 7 is negative 7. Negative 7 times 1 is still negative 7. So therefore, negative times negative, that would be positive 7 then. And then minus 3 times 1 times negative 2. That will be negative 6 so therefore negative times negative will be positive 6 and then 1 times negative 1 times 1 that will be then this is negative uh, will be negative 1 negative 1 times negative will be positive 1 so therefore we got all the values and it is just a matter of simplifying this negative 14 uh, negative 14 let me write this negative 14 minus 1 minus 3 plus 7 plus 6 plus 1 so when we simplify this the value of a is going to be equal to negative 4 we'll keep that okay we'll do the same thing for for b and then c and then d the way we want to find the value of b is as follows the, the elements we have is 1, 1, 1, negative 1, 7, 1, 2, 3, and 1. According to the, according to the diagonal product method, the, the procedure is telling us to repeat the first and second column elements as fourth and fifth column elements. 1, 1, negative 1, 7, and then 2 and 3. So now we are ready to... Um, connect the elements, diagonal elements here. These are the elements we want to connect. These are the elements we want to connect. These are the elements we want to connect. And as we did before, when we are connecting the elements going down, we're going to add. And then when we are connecting the elements going up, we're going to subtract. We're going to subtract. This is subtraction. So the way we can simplify this is as follows. This is going to be um, 1 times 7 times 1 is going to be 7, right? Plus 1 times 1 times 2 is going to be 2. Plus 1 times negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Then minus 2 times 7 times 1. 2 times 7 is 14. So we get the 14 there. Minus... 3 times 1 times 1 is 3, so we get the 3 there, minus 1 times negative 1 times 1 will be negative 1. So we got all the elements simplified, and therefore this is going to simplify to 7 plus 2 minus 3 minus 14 minus 3 plus 1. And when we simplify this some more, the value of b is going to come out as negative 10 okay then we'll do the same thing for c and if i were to write uh, the elements for c the elements for c are 1 negative 2 1 and then negative 1 negative 1 1 
and then 2, negative 1, 1. And then according to uh, the diagonal product method, we're going to repeat the first and second column elements as fourth and fifth column elements, and therefore this is the way we can write them. 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, and then 2, negative 1. Now we are ready to connect these points, and when we connect these points, this is the way it's going to look like. We are connecting these points, connecting these points, connecting these points, and as we said, when we connect them downwards, we're going to add the products. When we're going to connect upwards, we're going to subtract. When we're going to connect upwards, we're going to subtract. Okay? So this is going to come out as follows. This is subtraction here. This is subtraction here. Okay? That is subtraction. So this is going to simplify as follows. So 1 times negative 1 times uh, 1 is going to be negative 1 plus uh, negative 2 times 1 times 2 is going to be equal to negative 4 then plus 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 will be positive 1 and then we're going to go up 2 times negative 1 times 1 will be negative 2 therefore times negative will be positive 2 and then uh, going up the second uh, diagonal, negative 1 times 1 times 1 will be negative times negative will be positive 1. And then the last one is 1 times uh, negative 1 times negative 2 will be, this will be negative 1 times negative 2 will be positive 2, but we have a negative sign here. Therefore, this is going to be negative 2. When we simplify this, it is going to be negative 1 minus 4 plus 1, plus 2, plus 1, minus 2. When we simplify all of this, this is going to turn out as negative 3. Right? And then the last one we have here is the D, which is going to read as follows. The elements for D are 1, negative 2, 1, negative 1, negative 1, 7, and then 2, negative 1 3 and according to our diagonal product method we said we're going to repeat the first and second column elements as and then write them out as fourth and fifth column elements 1 negative 2 negative 1 negative 1 2 negative 1 and then now we are ready to uh, connect these diagonal elements and the diagonal elements we are interested in are 1 that is the first one, that's the second one, and that is the third one. We said when we're going down, we're going to add. And when we are connecting the diagonals going up, we're going to subtract. These are the three diagonals we, we are interested in. When we're going up, we said we're going to subtract. And therefore, when we simplify this, this is going to look like this. 1 times negative 1 times 3 is going to be equal to negative 3 then plus 2 times 7 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28 with a negative sign. Then plus 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, so therefore 1. Minus, now we're going to go uh, look at the product of the diagonals going up. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, so let me put that as negative 2 there, minus uh, 1, negative 1 times 7 is negative 1 times 7 is negative 7, so we'll put the negative 7 there, minus 3 times negative 1 times 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times negative 1 is negative 6, 6 times, this is going to be positive 6, I'm sorry, so when we simplify this, this is going to be negative 3, minus 28 uh, plus 1 plus 2 plus 7 minus 6 isn't it so negative 3 minus 28 plus 1 plus 2 plus 7 minus 6 when we simplify the math here this is going to come out as equal to negative 27 this is D now we started to say that um, this is E this is A, 
this is B, this is C, and this is D. So for A, we have for A we have a negative four. For B, we have a negative ten. For C, we have a negative three. And for D, we have a negative twenty-seven. And if we were to put all of that together, this is how it's going to look like. The equation of the plane can be written out as, as follows. x times a, which is negative 4, minus y times b, which is negative 10, plus z times c, which is negative 3, and then negative 1 times d, which is negative 27, and we said that is equal to 0. So therefore, when we simplify this, it is going to be negative 4x, negative 4x plus 10y minus 3z plus 27 is equal to 0. We can also write this as follows. We can uh, multiply by negative sign throughout, and then when we multiply by negative sign throughout, we can, we can change this as 4x minus 10y plus 3z is equal to, since this, this will be a negative 27, if I were to take it to the other side of the equal to sign, it becomes a positive 27. Therefore, we can also write it in that manner. So 4x minus 10y plus 3z is equal to 27 is the equation of the plane we are looking for. Given those four, uh, given, given those uh, one to three vertex points. This is the way we can solve uh, problems using determinants. In my next presentation, we shall look at some more examples related to solving determinants using uh, using some of these uh, the, uh, some some of these uh, methods.